Hello and welcome to At Bristol's 2013 Spring Night Sky Guide. Let's track down some of the constellations and planets you can spot throughout March, April and May. There are still some winter constellations up, although not for long, with Orion setting below the horizon by mid-March. Booties will move from east to south over the course of the spring. You can find him by looking for the brightest star in this constellation, Arcturus. To find it, first trace out the famous pattern of the plough. Then draw a line from the two end stars in the bent handle. They point to Arcturus. An easy way to remember this is to use the phrase Arc to Arcturus. The other stars in Booties are fainter, but from a dark sky sight using these pictures, you'll be able to see him. His body looks a bit like a large diamond-shaped kite. Arcturus is the third brightest star in the night sky after Sirius in Canis Major and Canopus, a southern hemisphere star. Its name means guardian of the bear. Arcturus is bigger than our own sun. In fact, 30 stars like our sun could fit across its surface. Leo will move from the south to the west over the course of the spring and can be seen all through the night. It's a fairly large and bright constellation, but it's easier to see all of the stars from a dark sky site away from light pollution. Still, even from a city, you'll be able to spot the bright star Regulus and the rest of Leo's head, looking like a backwards question mark. The best way to find Ursa Minor this spring is to use the end stars in the plow to point to the North Star. This is the end of Ursa Minor's tail. Then use this picture to trace out the other stars. As is often the case, Mercury appears very close to the Sun, so can't be safely observed. Venus is also very tricky, but you may glimpse it low in the west, just after sunset, later in spring. Unfortunately, the red planet Mars is overpowered by the Sun. Jupiter is very bright, low in the west, during early spring. Saturn is the best place planet for us to observe over the next few months. Look in a generally southerly direction, later in the night is better, and you may spot it. Our theme of this season is Saturn. Saturn is one of the gas giants of our solar system, and it isn't called a giant for nothing. Our own planet Earth could fit inside it 800 times. Saturn is most famous for its rings, which were probably formed when a moon was destroyed in a collision. The rings were first seen by Galileo in 1610, but his telescope wasn't quite good enough to determine what they were. We now know that the rings are not solid, but are made up of trillions of tiny pieces of rock, ice, and dust. Most are very small, with the biggest being around the size of a bus. To the naked eye, Saturn looks like a star, but large binoculars held steadily or a small telescope will give you a view similar to Galileo's. Why not try seeing the rings of Saturn for yourself? If you have any astronomical questions, then you can ask us on Facebook, Twitter, or the comments section below. There are loads of links in the description to help with your own stargazing. If you'd like to hear more about the spring constellations, satellites, and lots of top tips for budding astronomers, then why not join us for our Spring Night Sky Planetarium show. Thank you very much for watching, and remember, keep looking up.